Morning everybody, hope everybody's okay. I'm taking the dog for a lovely walk this morning. The weather here is absolutely stunning today. I don't know whether you can see, it's gorgeous blue sky with some lovely fluffy clouds. There is a little bit of dark cloud there as well, but we'll ignore that. Uh, so yeah, having a, having a nice walk and I just wanted to have a chat really today about yesterday and I attended my first CLL, which is Chronic Lymphocytic Leukemia Group at the Macmillan Centre at Southampton General Hospital. So it's the first one I've attended, as I say, say my thoughts on it really. It was really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. We had a bit of a Tai Chi session, which was fun. I've not done Tai Chi before, so that was really good. We did some meditation, which is fantastic. As most people who know me know, I love my meditation. So that was really cool. Everyone else seemed to enjoy it. The one thing that I do find um, find a little bit difficult to deal with maybe, and, and maybe that's a bit of ageism coming in with me. I'm one of the youngest people with this condition and I've not found anyone that is younger than me with this condition. I've not come across anyone with, you know, with, with the condition that's, that's even a similar age really to me. Everyone else seems to be that little bit older. So it does, um, it, it just seems a little bit hard to try and, I don't really know what I'm trying to say really. So I went to the group yesterday, no real great expectations, but it seemed that everybody else that was there, like I say, they seemed a little bit older um, but they also seemed a little bit further on in their treatment journey than me, which is cool. That's absolutely fine. Um, you know, I understand that, but everybody there at the group was either on treatment or has had treatment and is in remission to some degree. So, yeah, I mean, it's really nice hearing their stories. It's nice hearing the successes, which is absolutely incredible and um, the research that's going on and all the kind of stuff that's going on relating to leukemia and the money that's being pumped into it that kind of stuff but yeah it would just be nice to have um, to actually engage with somebody my own age really so I have a, I have a support buddy now who has a condition that I have he's had it longer than I have uh, he is based in Scotland um, but he seems an amazing bloke. We do seem to have some musical interests in common, which is fantastic. But again, he is a little bit older than me. So I don't know whether I'm one of the youngest people with the condition in the country. I have no idea. So I suppose that's something that I will find out as I, as I go along in my, my journey with leukemia. But anyway, today I just wanted to make this video just to talk about that really, just explain. So I'm on the route with the support groups. I'm attending support groups, which is fantastic. And I'm gonna try and engage in as much support as I can now. Uh, I don't know whether people know, but previously, you know, I've not really had the time to focus on myself and do that kind of stuff with some family issues that have been going on and stuff like that. But now I can focus on myself. I'm so delighted now this gorgeous, gorgeous weather is here. Look at the clouds today and the sky, it's beautiful, isn't it? And it really does make you feel good. I'm out here in the sunshine, I'm walking the dog. She's crazy as usual. She always has been and she always will be, I suppose, even though she's coming up to 12 now. But yeah, life is good really. And I have to be grateful for the, 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 the opportunity to do these things really. And I think new doors will open for me. New people are coming into my life, which is great. And you also learn to be humble and grateful, which is probably the most important lesson I've learned on my journey and my healing journey so far. Where are you, Tia? Are you there, darling? So there she is. Hey, what are you doing? Turn around, because we're getting my shadow in the camera. Go this way. There we go. Good girl. So Tia wants a treat which is as per usual. She always loves her treats when she's out walking. I'm sure she actually enjoys the treats out more than she does the walking, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's uh, life is good really, I suppose. And I have to be grateful for small things, but I'm really grateful to be able to get out into the sunshine today. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just look at that tremendous sky. Absolutely dramatic and gorgeous. So this is the first time I've used this um, new camera out. So it's the Pocket 3, the Osmo Pocket 3 that I've um, now got. And I really bought this really because a friend of mine bought one and it's really good and I was really jealous. 
not jealous, envious, shall I say. Envious sounds a little bit less. Um, anyway, he had one. I thought it was absolutely amazing the stuff he was doing with it, the quality of the footage. I'm learning, and I really bought this because I wanted something decent that I can document my journey and my travels. And I wanted to document it and have it as a journal, really, to keep, which is really nice. And I know that's why most people do it as well, but looking into the camera does make you realise how old you are. <laughs> Look at the trees today. The trees are just gorgeous. Absolutely incredible day, it really is. Where's my dog gone again? There she be. You okay, Tia? <laughs>